Hey guys, thank you for watching. Today, we're gonna talk about the soda stream. If you watch my go-to keto drinks, you'll find out that uh, I used to not like carbonated drinks, but since I started keto and uh, the fact that you can't drink uh, sugar or even uh, sweet drinks kind of throw you off a little bit. Uh, so I've started uh, drinking a lot of carbonated water. Not too long after that soda video, I discovered the soda stream. It had this one on special, which comes with this bottle. And I think I ended up buying it for about 60 bucks, 59.99. Right now they're close to 100, so I got a good deal on it. I was doing the math end of store, trying to figure out if it was worth it. And uh, after I did some numbers, which I'm gonna share with you right now, uh, I realized that this is a huge, huge way to save money on drinks, especially if you're somebody that gets tired of soda or, you know, like in my case, I don't really wanna drink too much coffee because I get addicted to it easily. So I found that the club soda really helps with any kind of cravings or thirst. Besides, at the end of the day, you're really only drinking water. So let me start out this video by showing you guys what comes with the packet that I bought. And so, like I mentioned before, uh, you get this bottle right here. It seems like the lid is a special size. Uh, I haven't really tried other lids or other bottles in here, uh, just because we have two. My wife ended up buying one, so she can have one and I can have one. This right here is the manual soda stream. They have an electric one that instead of uh, pushing this button, like I'll show you in a little bit, they have three different settings. So that way you can determine uh, what level of carbonation you want on your drinks. But this one's manual, so you actually have to uh, press it and kind of determine on your own what level you like the best. The back plate comes off very easily. Okay. And then you in the back, you'll see a 60 liter CO2 tank. I did the math on the 60 liters and how much that renders compared to cans, but I'll cover that in a little bit. It's really easy to install. So first you put in the bottom, so you get some uh, headroom and you plug it in, rotate it until it stops. They only want you to hand tighten it. They don't want you to go too hard because this is plastic. So I'm assuming if you do too hard, it's gonna break. Uh, and all you do is you put the bottom of the cover first and then you snap it. And that's it. The one thing I love about this is there's no batteries, there's no wires, nothing. So it just kind of uh, sits on a countertop. Doesn't really take up too much room. So that's one of our favorite things in comparison with how many cans it'll take for you to get the same amount of uh, soda from it. Uh, it saves you tons and tons of space. The canister comes in this box right here. This is a brand new one. I always have one uh, as backup. Obviously, this is also how you buy the replacements. It's really easy to make soda. So I'll show you guys real quick. Uh, all you need is to uh, get this bottle. Preferably you want filtered water and uh, even better if it's cold. You want to get it near this 0.89 quart line. Once you have it in the proper level, all you're going to do is place this straw looking thing into the bottle, push it up and in, and then that's it. You won't feel to a click or anything, it'll just stay by itself. The instructions here on the top uh, gives you a couple different options for a fizz or a carbonation. Three times gives you a light fizz. Five times gives you a strong fizz. Uh, I'm good around uh, four or five. So the way to do it is you push down firmly, hold it for two seconds and release. So you go. Okay, so that's five times. Before, when we first started, we would kind of move it around and like try to yank it out. We ended up shaking it so much that it would spill on the counter. But now we realize that it's actually automatic. All you have to do is pull it out and it just lets it go. I can't remember what we were doing before where it wasn't working, uh, but uh, there's a few times where we actually ended up having to clean the countertop. So that's it. Usually I drink it right after, and if it's not carbonated enough, then I'll do it a couple more times. So you can see it's really fast. They even have flavors that you can put in there with drops, and it'll give it some type of a taste if you get tired of just drinking plain carbonated water. I really like the taste of it now, uh, especially when it's filtered water and it's uh, nice and cold. All right, so that's the process. Now let me give you guys the numbers. So again, this machine, the manual one, is about $80. Uh, it's a little bit more expensive here because I'm in Waikiki, but I'm sure if I go out of Waikiki into uh, the target farther away, it might be a little bit cheaper. Or if I go to the military base, it might be a little cheaper for me, but I haven't seen them uh, anywhere else other than Target. So I don't know if that's an exclusive. And then the uh, automatic one is over hundred bucks. This canister right here is $29.99. The first time that I bought it, it was $24.99. So they're going up. So 60 liters will give you the equivalent of 169 cans of soda. In the case of this lacrosse, which was on special and my wife wanted to get a couple of different flavors, we ended up buying three of these for $10 and each one of these boxes has eight cans. So that means it would take 21 of these packs at $3.33 each to equal 
this right here which is $29.99 so these 21 packs would be somewhere around seven dollars plus not to mention the tax on all the can fees or bottle fees that you get charged uh, even if you end up recycling all 21 of them you actually only get about eight dollars and 45 cents back from recycling all of them and just imagine how much space 21 of these boxes plus the cans after you're done with them will take just so you can go to take them to the recycling center i used to do that i used to buy the cheap ones from uh, safeway but it's just such a hassle going over there i used to buy the big packs so that they're, um, they're more affordable uh, and then I would have to save the cans and obviously you feel guilty if you just dump them in the trash So you have to go recycle them and it's just a whole thing. This one gets rid of all of that When I first got this thing, I was trying to get it cheaper and cheaper And so what I did is I bought this uh, soda stream a modifier that would take a regular co2 canister that people would use on a paintball gun or something like that And then you can attach it to this because it's uh, proprietary. I think this was about 50 bucks uh, which I thought it was going to save me a lot more money if I just had these refilled but it turns out that in Hawaii they don't use CO2 canisters anymore for paintball guns because they're too expensive to ship and you can only ship a certain amount over the mail so what they do is they use compressed air which I didn't know I could not find anybody that could refill a CO2 canister and so this ended up being a waste but recently I went back to Target to get some more uh, canisters and I realized that there's a sign that says uh, recycle your canisters you get up to 50% off so obviously I came home grabbed all the spare canisters that I didn't throw away because I used to just throw them away which is pretty, sounds pretty bad and so I had two I took them back to Target and I exchanged them and initially they were hesitant they said oh you know they're supposed to do that but they're not really doing it because of why and it's you know, whatever but at the end they ended up honoring their sign so I ended up paying $15 for these right here I'm hoping that the next time I go back they haven't removed that sign so that I won't get the discount but last time I went just to kind of browse around Target they still had it so hopefully they'll keep honoring it and then that's gonna save me even more I'm pretty sure it's a soda stream program and so I'm assuming that at your local store they might have that same option where you return the old canister for a discount on the new one but please let me know if that happens in your location or down in the comments. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys try this machine. It will definitely save you space and money. Hopefully it can also help you stick to the keto diet. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask them on the uh, comment section below. Please subscribe to this channel. Hit the like button if you like this video. Turn on notifications so you'll know when I upload new videos. And thank you for watching guys. Bye.